Hello again, all you beautiful people. My name is Gunnar Clovis. I am a game developer, and today I am playing Radishenkia's uh, third game. I just really like playing the games of the creators that I've covered in full, and I don't know, I'm a bit of completionist, and I want to keep updated with all of them. I have so many other games on the backlog that I am getting to, I, I promise. <laughs> but here we have this game, Where's My Ice? Again, by Radishenkia, who's a 13-year-old uh, beginner game dev in Russia, which is just awesome. Again, this creator page is fantastic. I don't remember this website being there before. My name is Rodian. Okay, well, learning, learning new information. Very cool. Very cool. Man, yeah, this, man, this website's so cool. Again, yeah, it's just very simple. Same, same. Really nice color scheme, and it has like these links. It's better than my website, I'll tell you. I have not put any work into my website. It's just been sitting. It's been blank for like over a year now. It's, it's embarrassing. But here we have. Where is my ice, which was made for ooh my first game jam winter 2020? Interesting. So not for the weekly game jam as Rady Shenka's other two itch games were. But yeah, this is nice. So I don't know what kind of banner should be here. So here's a rainbow for you. I like it. I like the gradient. It's very simple and silly, but I, I like that kind of thing. It's nice. Run game Igra. Um, okay. Snowman left his ice cubes, and he is need your help. Cool, it's a puzzle game. Unity, voxel graphics, a few seconds. I don't know. Okay, cool. Let's try it out. Again, playable in browser, which is awesome. Where's my Caro? I really love how this can bring people together from across the country, because Russia is like yeah, it's basically the opposite end of, of the continent from me. Sorry, not the continent, the opposite end of the planet from me where all of the humans live. Uh, really cool. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm rambling. So nice. Um, I like this very subdued music. It's very lovely. There's this kind of crackling sound. It like it seems like it could be like the crackle of a fire, perhaps. But there's no fire on screen, so that doesn't really make sense. And the crackling doesn't sound super good. I, I'm not sure if it's intentional or not, but the music is really nice. I really like the music. I, I'm sure they got it from a Creative Commons source again. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> so cool. We have a main menu. That's awesome. We have a quit button. I would actually, so this is a weird, a weird quirk, but I would actually recommend not having a quit button when you have an HTML5 build, because when you quit, it just does this. It blanks your screen. That's why in my uh, my Game Maker Studio 2 games, I, I make it so escape closes the game, but not on web, because I, I think the, the most your game should quit when it's on WebGL or HTML5, only in these two cases, is right here to the main menu, because otherwise it just blacks, the, it, it makes the screen go black, and... And yeah, then you, they have to refresh the page. There's just no reason to have a quit button here, but that's a, it's a good instinct to have a quit button. Um, generally, yeah, you always want a quit button, except on HTML5 and WebGL, which is kind of, yeah, it's just kind of weird quirk. I'm sorry, my Google Drive is being weird. All right, but we have the settings screen. We can change music and effects volume. That's cool. Very cool. I really like this music. It seems to work perfectly. All right, let's go to levels. So there are five levels here. Uh, very cool. Um, seems like I can pick any, pick, I could pick five from the start, uh, but I want to start at one. Okay, so it just kind of falls away. So WSD or arrows to move, escape from menu. Yeah, see, I pressed escape there, but it, it's gonna um, open up out of the out of the maximized unity thing so that that's an interesting another interesting quirk of when you're working with webgl so in this case yeah it's kind of annoying like i wish it, it would work as escape but that's kind of out of your control so could be maybe p or q q for quit p for pause something like that um okay you are snowman and have lost your ice cube slide the ice the cubes onto the ice platform cool okay Actually, this sound effect hurts me. I, uh, yeah, I want to go to the main menu. <laughs> All right, now now it looks like that opens up. I do like how this this little main menu goes over on top as an overlay to the game. The game has not stopped, which is really cool, and I can even keep playing. But holy crap, that movement sound. 
is really, really painful. And there might be other good sound effects, but like, uh, yeah, just listen to this, listen to this. Ah! Ah! I don't know, I've always been sensitive to sound effects, like a nails on the chalkboard kind of thing. It just makes my teeth and my nails get all like freaked out and tingly. I don't like it. Um, so I'm gonna basically mute the effects. <laughs> I love the music, but oh my god, th those, uh, yeah, that, uh, I really don't like that sound. No! So I'm trying to press escape to make the menu go away. Okay, then it worked. Hmm. I can still hear it, honestly. I kind of, oh, I feel bad because I want to hear if there's other effects, but I really cannot handle that like scraping sound effect, whatever it is. It just hurts. It hurts me. Okay, but here we go. I like this look. We get um, eight directional movement. Yeah, nice little voxel 3D. Um, yeah, very rigid. But look at look, yeah, look how it. Like my little snowman body goes into this nice isometric, uh, sorry, isometric uh, camera view. That tree is getting a little warped by the camera depth, which honestly looks kind of cool, but is not uh, <laughs> intentional. I'm sure uh, it looks accidentally super cool, but it's not really fitting. Okay, but I'm wasting wasting enough time. Push this cube, ice cube, onto the ice platform. Yeah, victory! All right. Two. No. All right, so I push it here. I can't. I can't uh, go up any further. I'm pushing this. Like, I'm pretty sure I need to get all of my ice cubes over here, right? And now that cube is stuck in the corner. So I think I'm. I think I've lost already. Yeah. The movement is is kind of slow. Um, yeah, Ri <laughs> Ritishenka, even though they're a uh, thirteen-year-old developer and say they're a new developer, they've uh, they've put out like such good stuff that yeah, I kind of want to <laughs> be a little bit more harsh with them. So yeah, okay, it's pushed. That's pushed all the way to the side. I just can't go up that way. Okay, I guess it's fine. I mean, like, it really looks like I could just about squeeze in, so that's kind of annoying. And, uh, because the... The ice cube movements are so imprecise and physics-y and slippery, it feels like I could have maybe gotten it if it had just behaved more to my will. Um, which is not great. But yeah, now, now the level is just, like, broken, so... Ah, and yeah, to press escape to open the menu, it ha I have to, like unmaximize the webgeo and I, I I just wish it could be maximized the whole time so that, that, that's a blah um, alright so what I have to do okay I do get it uh, <laughs> is I gotta go around the top see I'm just I'm getting stuck on the walls a lot no cause I can't even go past this oh man no what do I do then shoot uh well, that's gonna be stuck, so... Yeah, now they're stuck on the bottom. Crap! Oh, man. And I can't press, like, R to restart. Like, I wish I could just press R to restart the individual level, so I don't have to press escape, then press escape <laughs> to open it back up, and then re-maximize. That's really annoying. Hmm. So I can slip through here and there, obviously, uh, but I can't go up this main path when an ice cube is next to me. And see there, it like, I just want to push it sideways, but it, it pushes like itself down a little bit when I'm just trying to push it normally. Um, yeah, it's just kind of odd and physics-y, which makes it very imprecise. God, this music is so pretty. I really like it. Yeah, look at that. I just, I can't. It's pushed all the way. I can't go down or up, so I have to go all the way around. And the movement already feels, like, pretty slow. So here, like, oh, no. See, I don't want it to go that way. I just want it to get just enough so that I can squish, scooch by. 
but I don't want it to get stuck in the corner, which I feel like it is now. Yep. Okay, I don't... Holy crap, I don't think I can beat the second level. <laughs> no! <sighs> yeah, because now it's there. Oh, oh, oh! See, I kind of got it up, oddly. Ooh, alright, okay, I think I can get it. I think I can get it. Oh, uh, no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, this is, like, just really touchy. And, uh, and then it just gets locked on there. Note to the right. And up. Oh, my God. And then I have to go all the way around. And then I need to somehow get it down so there's, like, space for the other ones. so difficult. <laughs> oh, this music's so pretty. No! Yeah, so I'm not a big fan of how, like, slow this movement is and the basic physics of it. Uh, are very annoying. Because like this, I can't, I can't get it down. Yeah, well, so it's the guy. I think I'm stuck. I think the level's broken again for me, and I'd have to restart just because it's there. But there's all this, like, there's this momentum to them, but they're really, but they get hard stopped by um, hitting, like, an edge. Um, it's it's kind of frustrating. And what the heck? I'm not even, I should be able to just move across. Okay, that was weird. Yeah, I don't, I'm not loving this movement. Um, the game is very pretty. I really, really like the graphics. I like the little colored Christmas tree lights. But yeah, I cannot beat this level. I don't want to keep trying, so I'll skip ahead. So it's interesting because it's like it's like a I don't know. It's supposed to be just like a a Sokoban esque puzzle game. Oh man. But it's not uh, turn-based movement. No, I can't get it down there. Uh Yeah, it's like a so it's like a Sokobanish puzzle game. I get uh, it's not it's not true three D um, in in terms of gameplay. Uh, but God. Ah, oh, but see, I'm just, I get caught on every ledge. Oh my god, see, like that. Ah! No, walk to the right. Oh my goodness, and see, then that's not going in. Alright, yeah, I, I just, I, I'm not gonna beat this game. <laughs> it does not look like. Hmm. No, stop it. Yeah, so it's it's interesting to have this kind of like um, physics-based Sokoban game. Mm. But it makes it oh my god, see, just like everything I do is not what I wanted to do. It just makes it very hard to control, and um, you always want your games to be easy to control. Um, the game, especially the the player character, should always be doing what the the player wants them to be doing and that's just really not happening for me uh, see like mm, it's a very very pretty game both music and art wise I love um, you know it's a simple simple level with this kind of little 3d depth in the in the level design and yeah just uh, this nice little christmas um light ring and lovely little trees and i love the little snowman i really i really like them especially when i go um <laughs> at a diagonal and it makes a little voxel uh voxel angle i really like how that looks um god yeah i really like the look of this game but it's just being very frustrating. Okay, wait, what? This one is already in the corner. I haven't touched it yet, right? Am I crazy? So is there... No. Uh, 
Is there another way to interact with it? Because I assume, you know, um, Rudian uh, Ryshenka has beaten the game, of course. But how do I get that up? No! It only said WSD. I'm, if, uh, if there's like a pulling mechanic, I was not told about it, or I'm very stupid. Um, I don't know what to do here. Like, there's a tiniest little gap, so I guess I was supposed to come in the left and somehow get it to go up. But that is incredibly annoying, and once it gets, it's in this corner, it's just stuck there and I have to restart, which, as far as I can tell, which is really, really frustrating. Uh, it is a really nice use of particles again. Um, Radishink has been doing that. Oh my god, so see, I'm just trying to walk down, but there's all this friction. Oh, that's really annoying. Oh my god. Ah! Um, Radishink has always used uh, particles to pretty pretty great effect in all their games. It's a very, very cheap and easy way to make your games look good. Particles are one of the best things you can do to improve uh, juice and game feel. And yeah, there's just particles everywhere. There's particles when I move. There's particles um, for all of the ice cubes just like radiating. And then there's the snow particles, which is uh, really, really great. Really like that. And that tree in the bottom left corner. <laughs> it's so funny. Um, yeah, so I have failed miserably at this game. I mean, I could bear. Oh, oh, I could do that. All right. But. I could barely beat the first, <laughs> the first level, and I don't think I'm getting, I might be able to get this one, because this one actually seems, seems easier than the other ones, but I'm probably wrong about that. Oh, but yes, yeah, oh, it slowed down there a little bit. But just, I can't move. Like, why isn't that wanting to push up? What's wrong? There's, there's space in front of it. It's just, like, friction? Yeah, it was just friction. That's really, really frustrating. <laughs> and that's probably not on it enough to qualify. And see, oh my god, I'm trying to walk. It's giving my hand a cramp. Ugh. This kind of kind of thing always drives me nuts. Push up. What? There's nothing for you to get caught on. There's What are you doing? Go up. No. Ah. Uh. Oh my god, it's really frustrating. Oh, okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah. And then it's not even gonna work. It's all all wasted effort. But uh, if I back it up here, go all the way around again, all the way around, and I push it up. It's not going to be enough to trigger it, but there we go. All right, that's that's the best I'm going to be doing. <laughs> ah, so yeah, this game wound up frustrating me a fair bit, but mm. having yeah, ha having physics can be tricky. Uh, a lot of people really like physics. I don't use physics as much as other people, but physics is a really great and easy way to add. Um, interest and fun to your games but they need to still be they, they need to ha still have good controls and I would not say this has great controls because I just I keep getting stuck there's all this friction when I try to move like I just get stuck at all the times so I'm constantly like, I'm just trying to walk left there oh my god why is this so difficult holy crap it should not take five tries to walk walk left make the Make the hitboxes more forgiving, more rounded, use capsule colliders on the player to kind of try and help them slide into stuff like that. Um, that's super, super annoying. And frankly, it just gives, gives my hand a cramp. Um, uh, it's really great to see Ridge Shinka doing something else. This is um, at least their first 3D game, right? Yeah, it should be their first uh, 3D game here on Itch. Let me silence this. Because uh, how deep you can reach and... Um, okay, I won't let it load, actually. 
But yeah, those, those are both 2D games. Yeah, they were. Um, and they're fairly similar. This is totally different, which is awesome. That's what I suggested they try and do, which I'm really happy to see. Um, they did a 3D game, which is always great. Uh, 3D games are, are generally much harder than a 2D game, take a lot more work and more ambitious. And this is like the 3D aspect of this game is very, very well done. I really don't have anything super bad to say about it in terms of graphics. There's that little tree bug with the camera, but that's really not a big deal and easy to fix. Um, but mainly it's just the gameplay here is not working for me as much as with the other two games, which is fine. Um, they did an experiment and I don't feel like it worked totally, but that's totally okay. Uh, holy crap, what, oh, it just slowed down and did a weird thing with my input there. But yeah, part, part of the process is uh, not everything's going to work right away, honestly. Uh, it was still just kind of amazing that their, their first two itch games <laughs> came out so well. Um, yeah, but th this, I think, should be a really good learning experience for everybody. I mean, obviously, I give a lot of advice to the itch creators here, which is ultimately just my opinion. Not, none of it is gospel. Ah, but... Uh, what I hope can really be gained from this little itchy for GM series is the successes and failures of the different developers, different ideas to copy. Radio Shinka has been uh, overall, even still with this game, a really great example. A lot of really great ideas and great successes, especially with the use of particles um, and just showing like very, very simple, simple, very achievable games that a beginner developer could do in one week. Really, really awesome. Really, really great to see. Very inspiring. I, I really like playing these games by this developer. In this case, I think uh, what could be taken away for everybody, including myself, I, I learned a lot from playing these games. A lot of what I'm saying is, is, yeah, it's reinforced in my own learning experience as well. We're all on our own separate journeys. And having very physics-based movement and controls can be tough because yeah, if there's like this friction and, and I'm constantly getting stuck on walls and everything and I just don't feel like I have a lot of control of now because the the ice cubes will slide just a little bit not a ton um, but just a little bit and very inconsistently it feels like and I just can't get them to do what I want them to do and also this game ends in a lot of very very easy fail states I'm fairly certain. Maybe there's a way. Maybe there's a secret button. I doubt there is because I think um, Radishenko. Oh, dang it. <laughs> I think Radishenko would have told us. But as far as I can tell, this cube is stuck in the corner and I can't do anything about it. I thought it was stuck in the corner before and then I made it even more stuck. Because, yeah, even before I couldn't pull it out, now I definitely can't pull it out, right? Uh, like, I'm trying. Uh, but it's, it's very, it's very frustrating. So always make sure your your players feel like they're in, they're in control and that they are doing what they want to do. I could not really do what I wanted to do here. I want to push the block up. I can't get it to do that. I want to go through different gaps. I get stuck. I get stuck really easily. Uh, these this level has a bit wider of gaps, which is good. But but yeah, uh, I'm still overjoyed to see this developer keep going. Um, I, I, yeah, I really hope, I love that rainbow, <laughs> really hope they keep making a game every week or so. Um, this has been really awesome. It seems like it's been a great learning experience for them and fun for them. It's definitely been fun and learning experience for me. I hope it has been for you as well. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you have any itch.io games you'd like me to play, please drop them a link in the comments. I'd love to play them. I'd really appreciate it. Please remember to always wear a seatbelt learn from your successes and especially from your mistakes respect everybody around you always assume the best of people and have a wonderful day goodbye